be having this discussion for National Geographic. It's frankly shocking. We've known for 2,000 years, based on observations you can make with your own eyes, that the world is round. But they have all the evidence right in front of them and they still choose not to believe in it. You know, who knows what motivates people from the inside to believe these things? But science is important. Science is valuable. Science saves lives, it makes our lives better and more comfortable, and it enriches us intellectually. And to question what scientists are saying and suggest that they're part of some massive international global conspiracy, it's really scary. Are they a threat to the work that you do as a scientist? If, say, governments stop funding science because of some kind of anti-science, anti-intellectual uh, feedback they're getting from the populace, that's when it really starts getting dangerous for our civilization. And as the war on science heats up, some Americans are fighting back. We're heading to the largest lake in California to meet the Independent Investigations Group, which is a, a group that essentially debunks paranormal claims. And they want to do a round Earth test, basically a test that will prove that the Earth is not flat, but that it is round. Let's go. We're ready to launch. You ready, Craig? James, how are you? Okay. Okay, so what's Good. happening here right now? Okay, this is the boat base target at Horizontal Stripes. Uh -huh. We're going to launch a small boat out into the water here with a striped target. Come on, Betty! And as it gets farther and farther out, you'll start to lose the stripes. One way that Aristotle proved 2,000 years ago that the Earth is a sphere was with a boat test very similar to this one. As a boat approaches the horizon, it appears to slowly dip down into the water before disappearing completely. That's got everything to do with the curvature of the Earth. If the planet was flat, the entire boat would remain visible. So it'll be a very visual depiction of the curvature of the Earth. And what's really interesting is that uh, some of the flat earthers, including Mark Sargent, are actually going to be here for this test. They want to see it for themselves. What do you think is going to happen here today? I appreciate a scientific group coming out and trying to do this test. Great. Appreciate the enthusiasm, but cannot work. Cannot work? I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring it up. So it's starting? Yeah. OK, so the test is starting. The test is starting right now. At first, all the stripes are clearly visible. But sure enough, as the boat reaches the horizon, the stripes begin to disappear one by one. It's pretty amazing. You can actually see it pretty clearly with this camera here. And you see that the red stripe that was at the bottom has completely disappeared. And it's now getting closer to sort of the middle uh, green stripe, yeah. that is. So we've lost about one and a half stripes. Right. So this can only happen. Why? Because of the curvature of the Earth. So here's what we were shooting. But Mark Sargent and the other flat earthers have a very different interpretation of the results. So you don't think that what we're seeing is actually real? You think it's because of yeah. heat? Yeah, oh, absolutely heat. Does anyone here on flat earth believe it's a globe? It's still flat. No, it's anyone, a, raise a, a hand. It's not a pair either. This is a demonstration that doesn't change anything oh, for you. Lord, no. Mark, do you really believe this stuff? Tell me the truth. I'm serious. I, I, absolutely 100% believe we are not on a globe. We are part of a giant studio set. Uh, all the world's a stage and you're on it. I still don't understand though, like who's gaining from all this, from this large conspiracy? The highest authority, uh, higher than presidents, uh, the super rich, people that are behind the scenes. Remember the first rule of power is stay hidden. So this is for me where I think it gets really dangerous because we're going back into the dark ages, mm -hmm. right? 